Hi kids! This is Teacher May, your teacher for today. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for the latest videos. Compare the similar fractions. Let's use paper folding and coloring to show what's happening in this problem. Theon and Rafa bought the same chocolate cakes at the Matatag Bake Shop. Theon sliced his cake into 8 equal parts and ate 2 slices, while Rafa sliced his cake into 4 and ate 2 slices, who ate a larger portion of their cakes. Theon sliced his cake into 8 and ate 2 slices. Rafa sliced his cake into 4 and ate 2 slices. What fractions represent the portions eaten by Rafa and Theon? Based on the models, who ate a larger portion of the cake? What have you noticed with their numerators and denominators? Based on our previous lesson, how do you compare the similar fractions with the same numerators? Aside from the use of visual representation, the similar fractions can be compared using different strategies. Let us do them one by one using the same given, 2 eighths and 2 fourths. Strategy number one, finding equivalent fractions of the given with the same denominators, 2 eighths and 2 fourths. 2 fourths times 2. 2 times 2 is equal to 4. 4 times 2 is equal to 8, which means that 2 fourths is equal to 4 eighths. Since 4 eighths has the same denominators with the given 2 eighths, we can say that 2 eighths is less than 4 eighths. Hence, 2 eighths is less than 2 fourths. I will give you some more equivalent fractions that have the same denominator. 2 eighths is equal to 4 sixteenths. 4 sixteenths is equal to 6 twenty-fourths. 2 fourths is equal to 4 eighths, 4 eighths is equal to 6 twelfths, and 6 twelfths is equal to 8 sixteenths. 8 sixteenths is equal to 10 twentieth, and 10 twentieth is equal to 12 twenty-fourths. 2 eighths is less than 4 eighths, 4 sixteenths is less than 8 sixteenths. 6 24ths is less than 12 24ths. It is evident from these examples that we can generate several equivalent fractions with the same denominators that will give the same results when comparing fractions. After getting the equivalent fractions of the given with the same denominators, what have you noticed with the kinds of fractions they will be? Getting the equivalent fractions of the given with the same denominators is the same as changing the similar fractions to similar fractions without changing given fractions values. 
After changing the similar fractions to similar fractions, how do you compare? When the fractions are similar, simply compare their numerators. The bigger the numerator, the greater its value. Strategy number two, classifying fractions into less than one half, equal to one half, and greater than one half. Using illustrations or models, it is easier to identify if a fraction is either less than one half, equal to one half, or greater than one half. However, without using visual representations, how can we classify the fractions? Let us look at the following. For fractions equal to one half, which is equal to one half? Two fourths is equal to one half. What have you noticed with the numerator and denominator of a fraction equal to one half? The numerator is always half the denominator. Therefore, we can say that a fraction is equal to one-half if the numerator is half the denominator. For fraction less than one-half, which fraction is less than one-half? Two-eighths is less than one-half. What have you noticed with the numerator and denominator of a fraction less than one-half? When a fraction is less than one-half, the numerator is noticeably less than half of the denominator. For instance, the fraction 2 eighths, the numerator 2 is less than half of the denominator 8. This is evident as half of 8 is 4 and 2 is less than 4. Therefore, we can say that a fraction is less than 1 half if the numerator is less than half of the denominator. Since 2 eighths is less than 1 half and 2 fourths is equal to 1 half, therefore, 2 eighths is less than 2 fourths. For fraction greater than 1 half, when a fraction is greater than 1 half, the numerator is noticeably greater than half of the denominator. For instance, the fraction 5 eighths, the numerator 5 is greater than half of the denominator 8. This is evident as half of 8 is 4 and 5 is greater than 4. Therefore, we can say that a fraction is greater than 1 half if the numerator is more than half of the denominator. Strategy number 3, using cross multiplication. In our lesson on equivalent fractions, we learned to determine whether fractions are equivalent by cross multiplication. We can use the same method to compare fractions. Let's try it with the same examples. In 2 eighths and 2 fourths, multiply 2 and 4. 2 times 2 is equal to 8. 2 times 8 is equal to 16. 8 is less than 16. Therefore, 2 eighths is less than 2 fourths. Let us compare the following fractions using the three strategies. Example number one, four six and seven ninths. Strategy number one, four six is equal to eight twelfths and eight twelfths is equal to twelve eighteenths. Seven ninths is equal to fourteen eighteenths. Twelve eighteenths is less than fourteen eighteenths. Therefore, 
four six is less than seven ninths. Strategy number two, four six is greater than one half. Seven ninths is also greater than one half. If both fractions are greater than one half or less than one half, they can be compared using either strategy one or strategy two. If both fractions are equal to one half, they are equivalent fractions. Strategy number three. Multiply 4 and 9, 4 times 9 is equal to 36, and 6 times 7 is equal to 42. 36 is less than 42, therefore, 4 6 is less than 7 9. Example number 2, 3 fifths and 2 sixths. Strategy number 1. 3 fifths is equal to 6 tenths, 6 tenths is equal to 18 thirtieth, 2 six is equal to 10 thirtieth, 18 thirtieth is greater than 10 thirtieth. Therefore, 3 fifths is greater than 2 sixths. Strategy number 2, 3 fifths is greater than 1 half. 2 6 is less than 1 half. If both fractions are greater than 1 half or less than 1 half, they can be compared using either strategy 1 or strategy 2. If both fractions are equal to 1 half, they are equivalent fractions. Strategy number 3 use cross multiplication. 3 times 6 is equal to 18. 5 times 2 is equal to 10. 18 is greater than 10. Therefore, 3 fifths is greater than 2 sixths. Example number 3, 6 twelve and 5 eighths. Strategy number 1, 6 twelve is equal to 12 twenty-fourths. 5 eighths is equal to 10 sixteenths. 10 sixteenths is equal to 15 twenty-fourths. 12 twenty-fourths is less than 15 twenty-fourths. Therefore, 6 twelve is less than 5 eighths. Strategy number 2, 6 twelve is equal to 1 half. 5 eighths is greater than 1 half. If both fractions are greater than one half or less than one half, they can be compared using either strategy one or strategy two. If both fractions are equal to one half, they are equivalent fractions. Strategy number three, use cross multiplication. Six times eight is equal to 48. 12 times 5 is equal to 60. 48 is less than 60. Therefore, 6 twelfths is less than 5 eighths. Let's have an activity. Compare the given fractions using the symbols greater than, less than, or equal. Write the correct symbol inside the box found in the second column. Show your solutions using the three strategies.